There are around 20 cemeteries in New Orleans, Louisiana, but I'm here to explore one and tell you about St. Rock's history. You will get a chance to learn about the artificial limbs hanging inside the chapel. A marble figure of an infant or a young boy and a few ghost stories that lie inside St. Rock Cemetery number one. One of them is about a dog that roams freely around the cemetery. So this is where the cemetery is at, right beyond this wall. It goes all the way around in a big old block. These are the type of buildings that you don't usually see at a cemetery. And this whole entire cemetery is around a wall. St. Rock Cemetery was founded in 1874 by Reverend P. L. Thebus, who was a priest from Germany that built this chapel in 1875. St. Rock Cemetery got its name from a man named St. Rock, who was born between the years 1295 or 1348. He helped cure for many people suffering from the Black Plague, according to Catholic legend. Thethus prayed to St. Rock and asked to protect his people during this epidemic. A year later, no one from his church died of the yellow fever. Thevis then founded the cemetery as a part of his promise to St. Rock, and then later built the chapel in 1875. Now inside the chapel are gifts left by others that pray to St. Rock to help cure them from illnesses or disabilities. There are all kinds of artificial limbs hanging on the walls and other gifts.
When Reverend P.L. Thevis died in 1893, he has to be buried under the main aisle under the chapel when you walk in. As of November 2021, the chapel is still undergoing a new restoration because of termites and hurricanes. glass on the ground by all these flowers wow that needs to be cleaned up I don't see any trash cans around here otherwise I would pick it up but what all do you do Well, look at the size of this master lock. Yeah, they're not playing. They don't want nobody inside there. I agree with it, though. It's not every day you see an outlet at a cemetery. It goes way up there. So I guess you could charge up your Tesla. No, you can't drive cars in here. I guess you can charge up your phone or something. First time I've seen that. A lot of these statues that you're seeing with the gate. I'm guessing it's there to protect them from vandals. You can obviously jump up there and do something to it, but you do not want to do nothing to this. So I give them an A plus for thinking about this. A plus. Yeah, because we don't want anybody to destroy these statues. They're all around St. Rock, by the way. Here's another one of those statues that are gated off, like I showed. Most likely to keep vandals out. And like I said, A plus for keeping it locked up. So from what I read online, the statue made of marble was an infant that was really sick, later cured by a mother's prayer to St. Rock. The marble statue was later added next to the statue of Jesus on the cross. Now for two ghost stories. The first story is a ghost dog. It's described as an unnaturally large black dog that roams freely around the cemetery. It has been captured in pictures and video, surprisingly. People have tried to approach this dog, follow it through the cemetery. Just when the dog is cornered and has no way of escaping, it vanishes. The second ghost story is a hooded figure that also roams freely around the cemetery and disappears into the wall. I will provide a link below on both ghost stories if you'd like to read more in my video description. So I'm sitting here walking around, and look what I found. A whole bunch of clothes and bat 
well, two bags and clothes, it's a purse, other belongings. I don't know if this is trash or if it's a homeless person's belongings. I'm not gonna touch it. Kinda scary, especially how it's at a cemetery. Here's another outlet. broken slap. What did you think of this episode at St. Rock Cemetery? Did you enjoy it? If so, please consider subscribing and click the like button on the video. What was your favorite part in the video? Also, what could I improve in my videos? Please leave a comment below to tell me. If you need to get in contact with me, I'll leave my socials down below. If you want to see my photos that I take of these places, my Instagram will also be down there in the description below. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving, and I'll see you in the next upload.